A warm welcome to all. We are most delightfully welcoming you to join us today. As of the last video, I hope you all will be clear about SRS. So, now let's see the next topic: formal software specification techniques. What is formal specification technique? Formal specification technique use formal notation to support formal reasoning about the functional specification of a software product. A major purpose of formal notation is to allow unambiguous specification of complex notation. Specifying the functional characteristics of a software product is one of the most important activities to be accomplished during requirement analysis. Here, we use both relational and state-oriented notation to specify the functional characteristics of a software. Let's see in detail about relational notations. Relational notations are based on the concept of entities and attributes. Entities are elements in a system. Though these names are chosen to denote the nature of elements. Example: stack queues. Attributes are specified by applying functions and relations to the named entities. Now, let's see some of the specific techniques of relational notation. in formal software specification relational notations are based on the concept of entities and attributes relational notation includes implicit equation recurrent relation algebraic axioms and regular expression let's see about them one by one in a short and clear manner with examples first implicit equation implicit equation states the property of a solution without stating a solution method here is the example m into m power 1 is equal to 1 plus or minus c here m states matrix m power 1 is states inverse matrix i states identity matrix and e states error matrix this is the simple implicit conversation done in a re- relational notation second recurrence relation Recurrence relation consists of an initial part called the basic and one of the more recursive part. The recursive part describes the derived value of a function in terms of other value of the function. Recurrence relation are good for recursive computation. For example, let's take the Fibonacci series. The Fibonacci numbers of 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 8 and goes on. So FIB of 0 is equal to 0. FIB of 1 is 1. To know the FIB of n number, we use FIB n minus 1 plus FIB n minus 2. Here, the n should be greater than or equal to 1. Next, the algebraic axioms. Algebraic axioms specify the fundamental properties of a system and provides a basic for additional properties that are implied by the axioms. The additional properties are also called as theorems. Axioms must be complete and consistent. They can be used to specify the properties of abstract data types, also known as ADTS. The theory of abstract specification is stated in terms of constructors, modifiers, and behaviors. ADTs can be used to define complex hierarchies of entities. Here is an example for algebraic specification in LIF4 properties that is last in first out property axioms the empty one new is true the empty one with push and stack an item in it is is called false the pop one new is error the pop one with push and stack an item in it is called stack the top one new is error the top one new with push and stack items are called item regular expression regular expressions can be used to specify the syntactic structure or symbol string 
both finite and infinite sets of symbol string they are made of atoms alternation or union composition of concatenation closure or completeness let's see about them one by one atoms this is the basic symbol in the alphabetic that form regular expression alternation or union if r1 and r2 are a regular expression then r1 by r2 is a regular expression composition and concatenation if r1 and r2 are regular expression then r1 r2 is a regular expression closure when it comes to closure if r1 is a regular expression then r1 star is a regular expression completeness in completeness nothing else is a regular expression regular expression can be used to specify a data stream message transmission operating sequence and resource flow they can be used to define user interface dialogs thus these are the specific techniques in relational notation i hope in this video you may understand the basic concept of formal specification software and relational notation let's continue the next notation that is state oriented notation in upcoming video stay tuned guys thank you